Hello everyone and welcome back to another MuseScore tutorial. Uh, this is the first tutorial I'm recording on my new computer and so I hope it goes well. So today we are going to be talking a little bit more about pedal. And this is a simple piano, I guess you can call it a song, <laughs> that I wrote especially for this. So, where to find pedal, you ask? Well, over here, in the lines, you come down here, and these here at the bottom are the pedal. Now, this version of MuseScore is a little bit different. You don't have to double-click on anything to get it to put stuff onto the, onto the score. So, what we're going to do, you can either highlight the note, like this, or the whole measure, like this. So, there's two ways you can do pedal. You can do it so it's visible all at the end, or you can make it invisible at the end. Uh, if you want to make it invisible, you can slap up here, pedal ad lib, and that just tells the person who will be reading the music and playing the song that they can pedal according to their own desires to get it to sound good. In order to get the pedal to be invisible, simply highlight the pedal and hit V on the keyboard and it will turn it invisible. You can still see it on the program, but once you send it over as a PDF or print it, this will not be visible. However, it will still be played back in the score. So if you want your pedal to be visible, you'll have to make it look nice. What I mean by that, you have to start with the with a straight one and end in the middle with a curvy one. So that way, when you go on to the next measure and you hit this one, they'll be able to match up. In order to get that to happen, very difficult to get them to match up. So you have to like monkey with it to get it to line up correctly. And that's only if you want it to be visible. It's a lot more work than just right clicking, selecting all similar elements and hitting and hitting V to make them all invisible and adding the pedal ad lib up here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first listen to this without pedal so that you can hear the difference between pedal and no pedal. So we're gonna slap into continuous view. We're gonna start the song and you can listen to it for probably just four measures. stop it right there. Sorry, that was eight measures instead of four. <laughs> so, if you notice, the sound they sound individual. Like the notes will only last for however long they are meant to. So these are eighth notes, so they'll only last for the length that an eighth note does. However, when you put pedal in, you can hear that the notes are sustained. That's what the pedal on the piano will do. It will sustain the notes until the pedal is lifted up again. We'll listen to it now, and we can hear the difference. So if you noticed, each note was held until the pedal lifts up, and then they all stop, and then the next measure goes. So that's how the pedal works, it's even in Muse score, it's just like a piano. So when you have measures that have multi multiple notes along the bottom, when you hit the pedal, it'll set them, it'll set the whole measure to pedal, but you have to move over to hit the next measure. Okay. So, I'm going to delete these here so you can hear the difference between no pedal and pedal. 
for the second part of the song. So the difference here is that these notes are all just played until the end. They're not sustained like they are over here. And if you're trying to write a song on MuseCord and just simply take it off on an MP3 and you don't want it to sound choppy, pedal is how you accomplish that. So let's listen to that one more time to get the difference. Another thing you might be wondering is if it sustains both the top and the bottom. And the answer is yes, as long as they're connected with a curly brace like this. I can show this to you by simply deleting the bottom here and then putting the pedal back in. Pedal is written in on the bottom, and we'll see if it sustains the top as well. So, indeed, it does. We'll put all of that back in. So the pedal marking is even if written on the bottom will sustain all of the all of the lines, all of the staffs that are connected by a curly brace. This is basically any keyboard instrument. Even if you change the the instrument type with the mixer, we can heck we can hit the vibraphone, which is another type of keyboard instrument, and it will still sustain it like with pedal you can even put it in a stringed instrument the string instrument actually shows this a little bit better because each note when it starts is held throughout the entire measure. You can never put pedal on an actual cello because you know, it's a stringed instrument with no pedals. Makes sense, right? So pedal is usually used for keyboard instruments or if you're writing a song that you're not gonna be putting, that you're not gonna be like printing out or putting on PDFs, you can use the pedal to make the uh, MP3 sound good. And when you're just simply making mp3 songs, then you really don't need to worry about what it looks like. However, if you wanted to, like I said in the beginning, print this out for somebody to actually read with the pedal markings in there, you'd have to line each one individually up. And that is just a pain. So the best way to deal with that is simply by pressing Control T, typing in pedal ad lib, and that will tell the person playing this playing this song that they'll just pedal whenever they feel like it. So that's it for today. If you have any further questions about pedal in MuseScore, feel free to comment down below and subscribe for more videos. I will answer your questions in the comments or I will even make a brand new video for you to watch about the things that you ask about. So feel free to comment and ask questions and I will respond to you. So thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you learned a lot about how to write pedal with MuseScore and the differences between non-pedal and pedal measures and also any other things you needed to know about pedal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.
thanks for watching. Don't forget to look out for new videos, and I'll see you next time.